DNA tracks is the, the study of aerosol transport and development of aerosol transport simulants. Right now, there's a lot of uh, biodetector networks that are deployed, and there really is, previous to this, was not a way to readily test them to make sure that they were working properly from end to end. So by having a material like the DNA tracks, powdered sugar, with DNA barcodes, we simulate the size, but, uh, and the transport properties of the aerosols of a biothreat are contaminated if you're looking more of an environmental concern. And we're able to, to release that into the environment, collect it through the collecting systems that are present, and uh, validate it through the PCR, the uh, polymerase chain reaction uh, detectors, to challenge the entire system. And this helps with model validation and validation of the entire biodetection system. So over the past four years, we've had approximately 10 team members. Um, those have included a very diverse team. We have engineers, bioinformaticists, a biologist. I'm a physical chemist. Um, we've had an analytical chemist. And uh, of course, our safety team is also involved in helping us get through some of the aerosol release uh, issues. The R&D 100 was actually really nice. It was great to see that the, the project was validated by the scientific community and the engineering community that this was important. And it uh, gives us a lot of recognition both to our sponsors and internally at the laboratory that we have been doing great work. We knew that previously from the results we received in the testing of the Pentagon, but it's just one other nice uh, accomplishment that everyone's achieved.